Welcome biologists, today we're looking at communicable diseases 4.1.1 taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology and we're looking at specification point L, the principles of vaccination and the role of vaccination programs to prevent epidemics. So vaccinations are used to give long-term immunity to many diseases and they help prevent epidemics which is where disease can spread rapidly throughout a nation or a town. There are two types of vaccination that we need to know about. The first one is herd vaccination and herd vaccination this is where uh, the majority of the community will be vaccinated and therefore be immune to the disease and this means that individuals cannot spread the disease the disease because they're, they're immune to it whereas ring vaccination this is where the most vulnerable people within the population are vac vaccinated to help protect them because they are the most vulnerable that to pass away or become severely dis um, disadvantaged from catching the disease. Um, so the people that are most likely to be vaccinated because they're vulnerable are these following people. So it's really important that you're saying here that it's not the pregnant lady's immune system, but the baby's immune system is very weak, which is why pregnant ladies become uh, vaccinated to help the fetus, which has an undeveloped immune system. We have um, the elderly, elderly have a weakened immune system and, and struggle to sometimes produce antibodies which is why they're vaccinated um, babies again we've just gone through this so babies have an undeveloped immune system so that's why they're often vaccinated and people who are hiv positive they have a weakened immune system already so they are usually vaccinated as well so why is it beneficial to vaccinate um, the populations this is taken from the mart scheme um, so as a government um, you would want to vaccinate your pop population so that there's little impact on the economy and people can still work. It's also cheaper to prevent the disease rather than to treat an ill person as well. However, some people obviously decide not to get vaccinated and the reasons behind that are they might be too busy or they can't be bothered. Um, sometimes there are um, scares in the media which put people off getting vaccinated. Some people can be concerned about the side effects or the cost to some individuals. Some people actually might be allergic to the vaccine uh, or have fear of needles. And some people don't take them due to ethical or religious reasons. And those reasons are, again, those are taken from the MAT scheme as well. Okay, so the influenza or the flu vaccine. So this is issued on a yearly basis. So the World Health Organization will look at the different strains of the flu that have been present within the year before and they predict which strains are going to come up again. Um, and through that prediction, they will design a flu shot which will enable you to fight off um, that strain of flu that is due to appear that year, which is why you need to get a flu vaccination every year if you are in a vulnerable group. Um, so a new vaccination is generated each year as there are many different strains of the virus. The different strains have different antigens and therefore the antibodies produced need to match the new strain or the antigens. So we get a new vaccination each year which will help our bodies to produce the antibodies needed to match that new antigen on that new strain of virus. That is taken from the MAT scheme, which is why it's in a red box. So SARS and at the moment, the coronavirus, these are examples of two types of virus, um, which can be prevented mainly through quarantine. Um, the couple of reasons for this is because um, quite often, um, viruses especially can be passed from animal to humans, which has occurred in both of those uh, viruses. And it takes a while for a vaccine to be produced because you have to go through human trials, uh, which is to, the longest part of finding a vaccination. Um, so with SARS and Corona, um, both of these two viruses, um, the main fight against them is quarantine, which helps to prevent the spread um, to other people. So there we are, we've looked at the principles of vaccination and the role of vaccination programmes. We've also had a quick look at vaccination programmes and uh, global issues as well. Um, guys, remember in your exams, don't use the words it, they, amount or size. Remember to use good scientific biological terminology. And guys, good luck with your exams.